I'm Phil Nice. Welcome to the first of my instructional videos on the art of soloing. Since I started my jazz school project here on YouTube, um, I've had a few people asking me uh, to go into a little more, bit more detail about uh, about the soloing techniques I use and the soloing technique I advocate in my teaching. And this is just really an introductory uh, video, just to get you started. Uh, in later videos I'll go into a little bit more detail um, and come with some suggestions for for some exercises that you can do to get going. But in this video I'm just going to outline the basic principle. And the basic principle is that this form of soloing is a melodic approach to soloing. It's about a principle that I call singing through the instrument and as you would have just heard in the start there what I was attempting to do on this particular instrument which is a little bit new to me uh, was to use my singing voice to give me the notes to play the uh, secret behind this principle the idea behind it is simply that your voice knows what notes to solo with and when I say my voice, when I say the voice, I don't just mean the vocal cords you have in your throat. I'm not just talking about the physical voice. I'm talking about the voice from its origins inside the <coughs> the brain, the processes in your brain, which tell you, uh, which give you your musicality. Um, some might choose to call this the musical ear, which is a, is also a fine term. But I like to think of it really as also not just a as not just a sensory organ, but also as a uh, as a process that that's also productive, a process that that is the origin of notes coming out um, of your mouth or out of the instrument. So the idea of this approach is simply to trust what you hear and to interpret it onto the instrument. And as I say, in later videos, I'll go into a little bit more detail about about how we connect the, 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 the knowledge that the voice has to what the instrument's going to do. But I'm just going to start here with a little demonstration of a few starting points. This is one of the things that you can do in the beginning. This is simply the idea of finding um, some notes to start with. Um, a good way to getting into improvisation is simply to to just start doodling a little bit with your voice um, and try to locate the same notes on the instrument soloing doesn't have to be elaborate it doesn't have to be a lot of notes it certainly doesn't have to be elaborate scales uh, and technical ideas um, start with just a few notes so here I'm running a blues sequence in the key of C just a traditional jazz blues and um, what I'm going to do is uh, just to center around um, the fundamental of the key of C, the note C, step one of the scale, and just generally work a little bit around that over the 12 bar blues sequence. And um, This is a little introductory look at a way of starting, uh, where you center around one note and then bring in gradually two notes, a few more notes, until it becomes some expanding into slightly larger phrases. Thank you. 
So that's just a little bit of an example of soloing without using a whole load of notes, just a small, few small melodic phrases. Uh, and another thing you may well have noticed was uh, the use of rhythm, um, that soloing, improvisation, is not just about the notes you use. Um, the melodic approach is really about melody, and melody is about more than just notes. Melody is also about how you use notes in rhythm. So bear in mind that a good solo, a good basic starter, starting solo, uh, can be very few notes um, with a little bit of inventive rhythm. I'll try and uh, illustrate this a little bit more in the next sequence here and this will be the end of this particular video and I'll get back to you later with some some more detailed tips and exercises.